off to a thrift store that I haven't been to in quite a few years and I never looked at their home decor before. Back then I came there for clothing. By we, I mean me and my two kids, which is going to be interesting, possibly disastrous. I know that this thrift store has a lot of home decor, so I'm very excited. And also terrified because both of my kids are with me, if you can hear that. This store actually has quite a lot of things and even though I went on a Saturday, it was pretty quiet there, which I like a lot because I like to have my space when I thrift and too many people just overwhelm me. All your hopes and efforts. I had originally put this little Ikebana style piece in my basket at first, but then I decided against it because it kind of did look like a hobbyist made it. When you've lost everything. like this little tulip candle holder. It also kind of looks handmade, but still cute. And then Naomi came to convince me she needs this Barbie karaoke sing-along in her life. And I convinced her that she really didn't, <laughs> as in I um, didn't need this in my life at my house. <laughs> but don't worry, she did get some other things for herself instead. There was also a yellow tulip. Look, I thought they were really nice. I was kind of thinking to get this for myself for spring decor, but I don't really light a lot of candles anymore in spring, so I did leave them there. I've been thinking about picking up a couple of fondue plates to see whether they actually sell well or not, but these were unfortunately chipped. Ooh, happiness requires work every day. Another enamel bowl, or should I say another rusty, crusty enamel bowl. The room was a little too beat up for me, which was a bummer because the size of the bowl was really, really good and I don't find a lot of bigger ones. These handled soup bowls were quite nice. I like the blue and the white. Most of them tend to be brown, which I mean, I do like brown, but these ones were so good, but they each had a bunch of chips and I tend to stay away from chipped stuff. I also like these mugs, but this was somebody's DIY project and so I didn't get them either. So this was quite exciting. This actually belongs to the series of dishes I collect. However, <laughs> I collect the blue color and this is the brown, so I did leave it there as well. Then I was shortly distracted by this lavender dish because it's speckled and I love speckled stuff. And then I noticed they also had a cake plate of the design I collect, but again, it was brown and not blue. We had these dishes when I was growing up. I have never seen them at a thrift store or ever like since we had them at our home, but here they were. We had the whole set and I only just now realized that they're actually made of milk glass. This set was also quite nice. It was not marked, but by the look of it, I would assume that it is Eastern European. I think I like it because I tend to be drawn to dark florals, but right now I'm shying away from buying bigger dish sets. I still have a bunch I need to list and also sell to make some space. Then I spotted this cute set of creamer and saucer with a dish. I like the contrasting beige and brown, and I did decide to grab this. Now this bird face was pretty cool and I was honestly surprised to see a modern barcode sticker on the bottom. I didn't buy it, but I quite like the look of it. I was so excited when I spotted this vase. I knew this was West Germany right away, but it had this really large pictorial decal added to it, which looks like it wasn't there from the beginning. Funny is that I actually know the town on the picture because I grew up like 20 minutes from there. Nice town, but unfortunately this was a decal that just could be removed. I like deer, so I thought this was quite cool, but it turned out to be a Jägermeister bar set. I don't drink or sell any bar sets, but I'm pretty sure this has a really nice resale value for someone else. I honestly didn't know there is Jägermeister pottery out there. And this little honey pot was so darling, I totally wanted to buy it until I noticed the giant chip. 
I tend to not really buy a lot of brass for my shop at all. I mean, I think I haven't bought anything for my shop so far, but I almost got this one. I love the enamel on it and I thought it was so cute, but the top just threw me off. It looked so weird. Like the two half moon shapes had been cut out on the sides and maybe it's supposed to look like that, but I didn't end up getting it. This wood stand was also so precious, but somebody had scratched big rectangle into it really, really deep and so it had to stay at the store. This vase was really nice as well and it looked to be quite old, but it was really not in great condition. It had chips and the glaze had rubbed off in some spots as well. I also really like this teapot, but the spout and the lid were chipped, otherwise I might have bought it just because it was just so cool. Also these two brown chairs with the cushions, I love the shape, but for now I don't have a use for them. I still wanted to show them to you anyways. And lastly, for this store, they had just restocked this big set of Zolberg Holland 1970s dishes. They were all so, so pretty and oh, so chipped. I picked out two pieces that I'll show you later on in the haul, but other than those two, all of them had at least one chip or more, which was kind of sad, not gonna lie. Today I'm actually all by myself, no kids, Naomi's at school and Bella is with Suras, he's off because he's uh, gonna start a new job. I'm heading off to Drachte, which is a city not too far from where we live to actually do some groceries, but they have some really good, very large stores there. I'm gonna head to at least one of those stores. Today's Monday and a lot of the stores are actually closed on Mondays. But I haven't been to that store in quite a long time. It's a really good one because they don't price their items. You just collect a bunch of stuff and then they give you a price at the cash register once you're finished. I have hopes to hopefully find something really nice. The first good vintage sighting at this store were these two Anton Peak prints and I ended up taking one of them home with me. These enamel bowls and pans were everything. I mean this color, look at it, this turquoise, but they were in such a bad condition and really, really rusty. It just broke my heart. Suras would like this. He likes things with ships and probably would have wanted me to get this, but since he wasn't there and didn't see it, I also didn't get it, because ships are his thing and not really mine. They had a few display cases there and I opened this one to pull out a couple of ceramic mugs, which turned out to be Wedgwood. I looked these up and they are not super duper valuable, so I did put them back in there. Also, this vase with the cranes was kind of cool, but on the bottom it said it was a copy, so I'm guessing it's a replica of a famous piece. This is a restaurant Japonica sugar bowl. So sweet, I really wanted to get it, but it had a hairline fracture, which just made me pretty sad to see. parts of the store were a little dark, um, so I'm sorry for that. However, I spotted a Zalberg lidded dish there <laughs> that was chipped. And as I said, I tried to avoid those chipped things. However, there was another Zalberg piece on the shelf. This little soup bowl, possibly maybe also a gravy jug because it's quite big, caught my eye and it's Zalberg as well. Thankfully, this one wasn't chipped. Thank goodness I took it home with me. This is a little Italian planter, likely from the 1970s. I did consider getting it, but it didn't strike me as something super special.
I'm usually not into this style of pottery. It's West German, but I don't know. It's like not 100% my thing. You can find it at pretty much every thrift store. But I actually did think that this one, like this piece was pretty cool, but it was chipped. Yes, more chipped things, unfortunately. And back on the shelf it went. I also spotted this tile for only 50 cents. It's hand painted, made in Portugal, and so precious. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. This face is by Hedro Meek, which is a, or well, was a Dutch pottery studio. This is a 1980s vase, but I really like the dusty pink color so much, and so I put it in my basket. If this candelabra had been brass, I would have bought it, but I am not much of a silver person. They also had this large industrial lamp with like the original thing on top, so it must have hung in an actual factory at some point. These are Suda's and, well, that's my husband by the way, favorite lamps, but we don't need another lamp right now. But he just loves these so much. I just browsed through the clothes before actually like checking out, but literally only because they were playing Ironic by Alanis Morissette and I love that song. I actually ended up putting back the pink vase at the cash register because I noticed that there are a couple chips on the rim, so I decided to not get it. I actually am off to another store that is literally around the corner from this one because it just opened. It's a little after 12, so I kind of have to hurry up right now because I also still have to do groceries and pick up Mickey from school, so off we go. <laughs> this sugar and creamer set was so adorable, but this sugar bowl did have a large chip. We played hide and seek for hours. Then I spotted all of these cubs and they looked so familiar. And yes, they are by Colditz, made in East Germany. I've actually seen these before at another store, well, or at least one of them, and that's why I didn't pick it up because it was just one cup and one saucer. But the colors of these were so lovely, and they are not your typical for like dainty cups, so of course I had to get them. 1970s goodness. This was a hobbyist piece, but I still like the colors and shape. I didn't get it though because it wasn't that well made. Barefoot. I've seen these grindly dishes quite a few times and I always kind of pick them up to look at them, turn them around, and then I put them back. I, I don't know, I just can't get myself to purchase them for some reason. I think they're probably also not worth a lot, but I don't know, I just like looking at them. This is the coolest pepper mill I've ever seen in my entire life. I didn't get it because the salt grinder was missing, but I feel like that might have been a mistake. I briefly thought about getting this painting because we have been looking for ship painting and dark colors, but I didn't quite like the art. I'm not really super knowledgeable, but this didn't seem very well executed to me. I don't know, I just wasn't vibing with it. I really love this tin. I actually need a couple for storage and grabbed it. Right away, I had completely forgotten to check the inside, which I thankfully did later on at the store though, and put it back because it was super rusty on the inside. This chandelier was quite amazing, solid brass with glass detailing, granted it was pretty dusty, but it would be amazing polished up. Unfortunately, the like fake candlesticks were in pretty rough shape and they would also need replacement. But other than that, it was a really nice piece. I don't know why I always need to touch all the tea sets I see. Maybe because I love tea. Who knows? I mean, I just drink tea, no coffee. This set was made in China, by the way, and probably from the 1970s. I 
these lidded pots were also so nice but they take up quite a lot of space and my storage is getting a little full at the moment and I need to move out some of the bigger pieces first. I really wanted to buy this French gravy pitcher. I love this kind of mustardy brownish color, but it did have quite a few chips around the rim. This was probably my saddest find of the day, this absolutely stunning West Germany vase by Carstens, but it had this giant repair like chipped out, glued back together, and it wasn't done very well, so that was pretty sad. At the first store that I actually went to, I found a three things for ourselves, well technically for my kids. These are three mugs and they are from a very very famous Dutch kids book slash movie and it's called Bluk van de Betteflet. These are originally from Dao Echers which is kind of like a Dutch Starbucks sort of. I also found a couple things for my store. First of all I found this amazing set of a coffee and creamer like a cup sorry a coffee <laughs> creamer and a sugar bowl or sugar pot and they are by Kolditz porcelain which is made or was made in East Germany. This set is from the 1970s. Really beautiful. I've been trying to get more into Dutch ceramics and there is still a lot to learn, a lot to be learned. But when I was about to leave and actually walk up through the cash register, I saw the lady and I think I also mentioned that in the vlog that she was rolling out a cart with new stuff and then she had a lot of really cool porcelain on there so I checked it out and I got two pieces because the rest was chipped so I really meticulously looked at them and I got this really cool teapot and they are, and I'm going to show you the other one in a second, but they are by Zalberg, Zalberg if you would say it in English, Holland and they're also stamped on the bottom, are they? No, this one actually isn't, but it is by them, I know that for sure because it was a whole set that belonged together. They don't stamp all their pieces, I have no idea why. And it is so nice, it's speckled pottery, it has this really cool yellow tint. Very, very nice, very trendy, like you would even expect to see this in a store nowadays. I got one cup and saucer, I would have liked to get more, but as I said, they're all chipped and some of the saucers were missing in different colors. They also had like kind of very tiny cake plates, they're also chipped. So sad, but this one I got as well and it has the same color as the teapot and this one's actually quite a, a large mark compared to the ones the other ones they had there so this is really pretty and yeah as i said bummer that i only have one but i'll, I'll take it because it's really really nice and a few days later i went thrifting at other stores <laughs> no kids that time so I had um, more quiet time to look at stuff and first I'm going to show you all the things I picked up for myself. The first thing that I saw when I walked into the store is this stunning print and I paid like 50 cents or something for it and it is by Anton Pieck who is a Dutch artist. I did not know that, I had to look it up. <laughs> I'm not that much into art, like certain things I know what I like but I, I don't know. I, I don't know a lot about all those artists. But I just loved it, this winter scene, and obviously I'm gonna not hang it up right now because it's not winter yet, but I'm gonna keep it for Christmas as my decor because that's gonna look so nice somewhere in my living room or I don't know where in the house just for Christmas and winter time. Then I also found those salad servers. I had been looking for them. They were on my thrift wish list. And actually I would still love to have ones that are brass antique, but that's probably going to take me years to find. So for now, I'm going to take these. I thought that these were really cool. I just still have to clean them and oil them because I feel like they're very thirsty, especially the carved elephants on top. They have definitely lost some color. So I'm going to have to replenish that and give them back some life. But they're really nice, hand carved. Maybe they were made in Africa, Mikey, that somebody just bought them on their trip or safari, whatever. But now I have them and I think they're pretty cool and they were 120 for the pair. And I honestly don't even know if I paid 120 because I got quite a few things and I think the total was more than what I actually paid because I only paid four euros for everything I'm gonna show you. So I'm not sure if these even were 120 because at that store they kind of make up the prices as they go. I also found this hand painted tile made in Portugal that probably somebody bought on their vacation and I love this. This is not one of those general tiles where you just have one building in a city and then it says like, I don't know, like Lisbon if this for example Portuguese, but it has this, it looks like an antelope, which I don't even know if they have that in Portugal. I probably, I don't know. But it's beautiful. The plants, everything, it's blue and white. 
probably gonna hang that up on my kitchen. I was debating whether or not to sell it in the store, but for now, I'm gonna hold on to it because I think that this is really cool. Speaking of Zellberg, what I just showed you that I found at the first store, the teapot and the um, coffee and uh, coffee cup and saucer. I found one soup cup and a saucer, and I wish that this had been a set. I would have kept it for sure, but this is only one, and I am not a one-person household. But this is actually marked uh, Zellberg, Holland, and this is so nice, it's speckled, really cool. This is very likely for soup, and I love that it has the saucer. Usually, they don't have that, and I love this detail. This was marked as 150, and as I said, I don't think what I paid was actually what was on there because the total was definitely more than four euros. I don't know. They gave me a discount for whatever reason. I'm I'm not mad about it, but this one is gonna go into my shop. And the next store that I went to, the last one, everything I'm gonna show you, I paid seven euros for. At that store, pretty much nothing is priced. They just look at it at the cash register, be like, mm, let's make it seven euros. And first of all, I'm gonna show you the fail of the day. I grabbed this pottery piece and I thought it was so cool I and mean, look at it it's so awesome I love it it's terracotta I was in a, such a hurry because I had to so go to the grocery store and then pick up my kid from school and I was like I have to do fast fast and fast is not good at the store because then my vision tends to get blurry and I don't really pay attention and this one is cracked <laughs> and chipped like how I don't even understand oh my gosh does it also have hot glue on here no wax Oh, maybe somebody, ooh, I think maybe this was a candle holder. It is signed on the bottom, but yeah, I, I, as I said, I can't, I can't really sell this. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to keep this for myself with like those really thin candles. That would look really cool. I like that now. Maybe it's not such a fail. I'm just, I usually keep all the broken stuff. <laughs> For myself, I actually got this little garlic pot. I currently have my garlics in one of those empty like jam jars or something or peanut butter jars. And this one I love because a lot of the times those garlic or onion pots have like crying and ugly faces on them and I'm not a fan. But this one was really nice. It's just a garlic, just very simple, very cute. I'm planning on putting up shelves in my kitchen, some open shelving or kitchens, very small, and it does not look good right now at all maybe i have to film a makeover because that's gonna be one heck of a transformation but this one is gonna be for my kitchen i was very happy with this one and i found more called it porcelain east german like not gonna lie i was so surprised last video i already told you i've been finding a lot and uh, when i filmed the haul from last week i already had this haul sitting here so i knew why <laughs> Um, I found, first of all, I found six cups and saucers and I showed them in the video, I think. And first of all, I got this gorgeous set. They're all 1970s, so beautiful. And this is, oh, they're, like, this is so fall. So nice with this orange and this sort of very, um, not pale yellow, but kind of a murky yellow. I like murky colors. Love that. This one, first of all. The other set is probably my favorite. It is this orange set so gorgeous so beautiful and they um are orange and red and also you got the matching saucers oh what just hit myself in the face and then this lovely pair of this amazing purple and blue and as i told you and which i just proved you a second ago i'm very clumsy and because i was in such a hurry i took out one of the saucers of the cart and i accidentally dinged it against the side of the cart and then it chipped so this one has a very small chip if you like today's video make sure to check out these ones here on the side because i have a lot of thrift with me if you love thrifting and you're not subscribed already please do because i post a lot of thrifting videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video have a great day bye